done this before properly, but I hope you know, so. Bloodworm, Joker in there. Okay. Okay, don't wait. Thank you. Make sure you put your ground bait in a 17 litre bucket with measures on though, not in a portable. Great bag. <laughs> Check. Check the dive trip over the hill. This is what we got. Well, welcome to Newry this morning um, for the first day of the Celtic Cup, which is about to get underway between Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Um, all the lads are on the box. We're about to start the pre-bait any second now, um, and the actual fishing will start at 12 o'clock. Weather looking really nice today, a uh, bit of a brisk breeze down the, the uh, canal as there was yesterday, but uh, I think everybody's uh, ready and really looking forward to getting started on the competition. Free bites! Looks like the fish have moved into the length uh, a bit quicker than they did yesterday. Um, it's Dave McCauley on the end peg for Scotland down to my right, down at the end there. He caught almost immediately, um, followed fairly closely by the next um, guys and the fish are slowly moving along the match length and appear to be uh, all through this first section at the moment. Um, it's young Scott here in his, uh, second fish now, um, so they're down as far as him. Down to my left, they're still, still not catching yet, but there's a little gap between the pegs due to all the snags in this area. So um, hopefully in a few minutes they'll move down and we'll have a proper match with uh, people catching throughout the length. Well, we're into the third hour now and um, the fish have finally got down as far as A section and uh, down the far end, they've just started to catch a few fish. Um, not huge numbers, but the fish are down there. Um, this end's fished really well, to be honest with you. Um, up in A section to my right, uh, the guy's caught almost from the off, um, and they've continued catching. Uh, I think on the end peg at the moment, going into the third hour, um, I think they were averaging between 80 and 90 fish per angler in, a sec in D section. So uh, everybody's uh, catching. It's, it's a good, close and tight match, to be honest with you. And I think it'll be interesting to see as we go into the last hour um, who can keep these fish coming and perhaps work out how to put one or two of the bigger roach into the net. And we're sat here at the moment next to Scott Laird from Scotland. Um, Scott's had a bit of a nightmare with a peg today. He drew a peg that was uh, full of uh, uh, snags. We've had to move him slightly to the right aware of his peg number. Um, and there's a big bank of weed in front of him, so he's had to stand up to land almost every single fish. But he's catching really well, as you can see. Um, but having to stand up to actually ship back every single roach to get over the top of this uh, big band of weed has been a bit of a pain for him. But to be fair, he's done really well, um, continuing to catch um, and holding his own with everybody else uh, in his section. Um, down to my left, um, two pegs down. Um, Peter Dix catching really well as well. Um, so it's good to see the youngsters uh, putting a few fish together. Um, and then beyond Peter, about five pegs down, we've got uh, Derek Brady and then Josh Truman and then Ewan Weed and Barry Young on right the, uh, in A section, right at the far end. So I'll be really close at the end, I think. Um, the Irish have uh, seem to be putting together a few more fish slightly shorter than us, which is, uh, I think, giving them an edge, to be honest with you. And I think they'll possibly be ahead 
it, um, one of their teams might be ahead at the end, but we'll, we'll wait and see. All still to play for, over an hour to go, hour and a half to go. So um, I'll try and give an update before the end and um, give you, uh, let you know what's going on. behind Derek Brady at the moment and um, start to put together a few fish on the, on the short line. Um, just fed quite aggressively, put um, some chopworm caster, some big dead red maggots and stuff through it and uh, it uh, seems to have uh, increased the size of the fish and, and the speed at which he's catching so that's good news, it just shows they still want a bit of feed. People around him are actually slowing down a little bit so um, being a bit more positive with the feeding seems to be paying dividends. So we'll watch him for a second or two, see if he gets another fish, and then uh, we'll move up and see Josh Truman in the, in the next section. Throughout the day today, it's been, a, it's been strange. You get one or two fish, and then you, know, you get two or three really quick, and then they tail off, and they disappear, they go a bit funny. Um, the water is very, very clear here. Um, and the light's been all over the place today. We've had bright sunshine, there's a cold wind blowing. Um, and it's, uh, it's a strange, strange old day today. Rain at one point, um, and other times of the day you're actually sweating because it's so hot, so. I think it's uh, going to be really difficult to work out who's in uh, ahead at the moment. Yeah, so. Derek's fishing basically top four to hand, just adding one section to ship out, and it looks quite like a long lash on it, but um, but it's actually able uh, enabled him to sort of speed up a little bit by being able to swing the fish direct to hand instead of uh, shipping back and un unshipping the pole. So. There we go, another little fish coming in. Looking for the half decent roach there. Now these are all sort of four ounce, four ounce fish, so four or five ounce fish, so lovely. Right, let's go up and see Josh then.
Well, welcome to day two of the Celtic Cup here on the Newry Canal on another bright, sunny day. Very cold this morning, a um, bit of a frost on the ground and on the windscreens of cars. And as you can see today, unlike yesterday, it's absolutely flat calm. There's not a ripple on the water and the water, as I said before, is very, very clear. So I'm not entirely sure what that's going to do to the fishing, but it's certainly be interesting with only three or four points separating the top five teams. Um, we're looking forward to a good day's fishing. I think it might be a slower start. I hope I'm proven wrong, but it uh, might be a slower start today with these conditions. Um, been a bit of rowing activity on the water this morning, but uh, they seem to have uh, finished for the day now and they're just doing some safety drills over the back. Um, so looking forward to it and I'll hopefully bring you some updates throughout the match today. So day two of the Celtic Cup is just about to get underway. We're just waiting for the ball in for uh, for the balling in pre baiting. Pre bait, and that's us underway. I'll give you an update uh, in the next hour and let you know how things are going. Well, I promised you an update uh, during the match, uh, but I think it's fair to say that as I anticipated, it's been very, very difficult at the start here. Um, to my right in uh, D section, the uh, fishing's been tough, but they've had a few fish. Uh, they've only just started to come down to the last three or four pegs here, um, but there's sort of between 30 fish at the far end, then 20 the next one, then sevens and eights, down to here where they've just started catching and probably got about 10 or 15 fish and we're heading into well well into the third hour now um, to my behind the camera from C A B and C sections there are hardly any fish being caught at all the fish just haven't moved down through the length today and there's probably people sitting on odd fish literally one perch two perch three tiny roach but we're hoping that in the last hour the fish do actually move through Otherwise, it could be a case of those who've managed to winkle out a tiny perch or a tiny roach um, scratching around um, will have mega points. Well, first, I'd like to apologise for not completing the final update um, in the last hour at the Celtic Cup on Sunday. Unfortunately, schoolboy error, I left my um, camera running and uh, the battery died. So uh, by the end of the match, when I came to do the... Uh, the update, I had no power left um, and I had to rush off and do the weigh-in with Vinnie Walsh and then of course we had to get away straight after the prize giving to uh, get our ferry back from Belfast to Cray and Ryan. So the last hour then, well the fish did actually finally get down as far as A section I'm pleased to say, although they didn't make it all the way along to peg one. Uh, Ewan Weed on peg A5 got his first fish with about three minutes to go and um, have one more bite before the end and pretty much that summed up a section they uh, really struggled i think a section was actually won by a welsh angler who caught one flounder and three roach so that just shows you what a tough day they had at that end of the match length that said um, everybody caught there were no blanks so that's a positive and on a difficult day like that the anglers and remembering it's a development event probably learnt as much about themselves and about the fishing as they did the previous day when they were catching. So where did the, where did the teams end up? Well, I haven't got the full results in my head, but um, I know that uh, Wales A, uh, Ireland A won it, Wales A was second, then Scotland Blue followed by Scotland White. So a little bit disappointing that both of our teams dropped back one place after the second day, but that's fishing. And as I say, the most important thing about this was that it was a development event to try and bring more people in. And from that perspective, it was a huge success. Um, and I'm much happier now looking forward than I was before we went. Next year, well, hopefully next year, either ourselves or, or Wales will host it. We've yet to decide. Um, but I think um, if we can keep this going, my my aim will be to give more people the opportunity to represent Scotland 
and to see if uh, try fishing at that level and under that sort of pressure and see if it's it's what they want to do um, and I'm really looking forward to it well, as you probably noticed from the last clip that we're now back at um, back in Scotland and I'm here at the Falkirk wheel today with a couple of coaches you can probably see behind me setting up for a free kids uh, coaching sessions taster sessions on the Forth and Clyde Canal um, I think in closing this little video I'd like it'd be remiss of me not to thank Vincent Walsh, his team, and of course the National Course Fishing Federation of Ireland for hosting this year's Celtic Cup, and of course the Locks Agency for um, preparing the pegs, doing the weed cutting, the bankside vegetation management, etc., to make it happen, and of course providing the biosecurity um, for the event to ensure that none of the anglers from Wales or Scotland transferred inadvertently any invasive non native species back to their home countries. Um, in closing, I'd like to say that um, I'm really looking forward to next year. I think it's, uh, this could be a good event going forward. And to say to everybody that if, if you feel that you'd like to fish for Scotland, if you feel you've got what it takes, then um, please get in touch. Um, this type of event will gives us the opportunity to give more people a chance to try out. So keep your eye on the website and on their social media feeds and uh, contact us and put your name forward.